All right, so we're going to be checking the screen model number on this Dell Inspiron 15 model 5567. So if you're going to be changing the screen, you actually want to take all the screws out here, take the cover off, and um, remove the battery, and then press and hold the power button for 15 seconds before you um, remove the screen. But we're just going to be looking behind the screen right now, so we're not going to be disconnecting it. So let's go ahead and do that. So first thing you're going to do, of course, just open this up and we're going to pop this thing out. So the way you do that, let's let, turn it this way. All right. So the way you do that is you just get underneath the frame here and you pull it up and we're basically twisting it, flipping it up this way and pushing it towards the center. And that's how you do that. Okay. So we're just going to go all the way around. Okay. Sometimes these can be a little bit tricky to remove, but we're just going to go ahead and continue on so it helps to kind of pull it in towards the center so we're doing the same thing with the sides pulling it towards the center while kind of rotating the frame inwards or up from the center okay same thing here okay so here you can see if I just kind of lift it it's a little stuck but if you kind of push it towards the center you can see it pops out pretty easily all right so we got all of that let's go ahead and flip this all right and then we're going to try and get this. Hopefully we don't have to take the whole cover off um, to get this thing out. Or ho the whole... Um, hopefully we don't have to take all of this out to get to it. But we'll see. Okay, so we're just kind of pulling this. I'm pulling this forward. Also pulling it up towards the center. Okay. Alright, so there we go. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know if we have to remove that first. Let's... Close this slightly and see if we can pop that separately. Okay, so here you can see there's actually a little seam here. So I'm getting my fingernail between that and we're going to pop that part separate. So here you can see. Okay, we're just popping that up. Just like that. Okay, and that should hopefully separate it enough that we can pop it out. Let's go ahead and lift this. Okay, so hopefully that separated this here. You can see there's a gap there, and hopefully now we can lift this out. We do have to, of course, pop all those clips, and yes, there we go. So here you go. We got this part of the uh, bezel out. Again, if you're going to disconnect the screen, you do want to make sure to take the bottom cover off and disconnect the battery. Um, if you don't do that, there's a very good chance you can actually fry the um, backlight circuit. You can possibly damage the screen, and you can boss possibly damage the um, cable. We're going to use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver here. Again, for now we're just going to check the screen model number. Um, depending on the cost of the screen, uh, we'll see about doing the disassembly to open the bottom cover and check. But right now we're just checking the cost of the part to see if it's worth doing. Um, my customer will will decide they're waiting outside right now so we're just going to open this up and check okay once you get the four screws out sorry I didn't really show but you got the two screws here holding the screen and then you got the two other screws holding the screen up here once you get all those screws out you can kind of lift the screen up like this okay we're gonna kind of uh, flip it forward again we're not gonna pull the screen out um, if you mess with this before disconnecting the battery and holding the power button, there's a very good chance you can damage the computer. So it's not worth the risk unless um, you're just really that lazy and you don't mind accidentally damaging your screen. Um, yes, very important. Disconnect the battery from the other side and yeah. All right, so here we got the screen model number. So this is probably a very common screen. Um, but here you go. Hopefully you can read it. N156BGE-EB2 revision C1. So that's what we're going to need. N156BGE-EB2 revision C1. All right. So anyways, that's pretty much all I'm going to show for now. But basically, after you disconnect the battery and then press and hold the power button, you can actually peel this piece of tape. There's a latch. Flip it over and pull that out. Okay, but anyways, for now, we're just going to put the screen back, so just lift it back up, flip it back up, okay. You might want to check yours too, just because it's it's pretty simple to get to, so you might want to actually check your screen as well in case the model number is different. Anyways, let's go ahead and put these four screws back in, 
depending what my customer wants to do. There might be a part two of this later where I actually replace the screen. Hopefully, um, it doesn't look too bad to replace on this model. Okay, and then we're just going to tighten these screws down, back into place, and put the plastic bezel back down. It's too bad that you have to do that battery removal drain thing, otherwise replacing the screen on this model would be super, super easy. Oops. Okay, but anyways, there we go. So let's flip this back. Let's go ahead and take the bezel. We're going to put this into place here. Okay, so just get that all lined back up. And then you can, if you want, you can try and clip this back, but usually I will close the screen first and then do it. So right now, if you try and push it, it's kind of tough. See, it's kind of, if you can somehow get from the bottom and push both sides, you can do that. But anyways, let's go ahead and clip this in first. So go around from the top corner here and you kind of push the outer edge down. All right, you don't want to push on the center, so we're just pushing the bottom. Um, that's essentially rotating it and pushing it into place. So, all right, so we're just pushing along the top edge or the outer edge, sorry, just like that, and it should pop back into place. You want to be somewhat gentle. You don't want to try and force it in. If it's getting stuck, then you don't want to try and force it down or you could damage something. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and go along down here now I'm putting my hand on the back and then we're just pushing that all into place okay there we go and if you can get down there you can try and push that down as well but it's tough so you might have to kind of close it and then once you close it you can kind of get in that gap between there all right same thing with the other side all right and we're just going to push that edge down into place there we go good and then now that you can get from both sides on here you can kind of push both in together like that and there we go and that's how you um, get to the screen and how you would replace it but again make sure that you remove the bottom cover and disconnect the battery first um, if you're going to do that there's this one screw holding the cd drive in place take that screw out then you can take it out by kind of sliding your fingernail here as you kind of pull back um, if you're kind of curious, I probably have other videos of this model or something similar. Just search, it's been repaired, um, and then search Dell screen or LCD replacement, and then just watch some videos, look for ones that look similar. And yeah, Dell Inspiron 15, you can probably find something very similar. Otherwise, if you give it some time, probably a week or two, I will have, will likely have the replacement video up. Alright, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it helped. If it did, like, subscribe, share my channel with others. Um, if it helped you save some money, please consider contributing a little to the channel so I can continue making these videos for a living. Again, these are customer computers that I'm repairing as I continue to make more of these videos. Um, I slowly get less and less work um, because people are able to fix them on their own. But thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Alright, let's drop this. Bye.